Hey guys, and welcome back to the second World Painter tutorial we have going here. Today, we're going to be working with the flow map, which you guys have probably seen a lot of pictures that I've been throwing out on Twitter every now and then. But so we have our base map right here. We don't have anything done to it yet. And first things that we can do here is basically what we went into in World Machine is we exported the flow map, if you guys remember that a long time ago. Basically, if you come up here to edit, and then you go import, then you go mask as terrain or layer. And what we're going to do here is you're going to go find this and you're going to go, we have our flow map three right here. And we're going to be opening this guy up and basically importing it in and you have to do full range, move, remove existing layers. And this does everything you can see here. You have all your cool little flow map markings and things like that right there. It'd all be super hyper realistic. And now say you want to be going over here. You want to do like a global mask of putting gravel onto all of the stuff and then you just you do it only on layer chasms because that's what we masked it as and you do that and then bam everything's gravel well crap now what you have to do is you have to open up photoshop so i'm gonna grab that open up here real quick guys and i'll be right back with you so here we are in photoshop we haven't opened up anything quite yet we're in the main thing. I found our way to the path of where we had all these other things. You can see here our flow map that we grabbed was this guy. And what you have in this image is you have all these little like light gray areas, barely colored and things like that. And those get masked into World Painter as different intensity levels, which causes problems in the end. So pretty much what we want to be doing in here is you want to go up to image, you want to go to adjustments, and then you want to go to brightness and contrast. And this went onto the side monitor. There it is. So what I do here is I turn the contrast up to about 50. And you bring the brightness down just a tad to like negative, negative 30. 30, yeah, mid 30s. Um, so bring that guy there. And you can see this image. A lot of these darker places are now actually just gone from what we had before. And you're going to do OK here. You're going to come up here. You're going to export it. Quick export as PNG works. And then we're going to do River Valley Flow Map 3. Um, high con I already have one named High Contrast, so we're just going to name it HC. And then here we can bring this back, and we're here in World, World Painter again. And what we want to do here is we want to do a global, and we want to do a remove layer of chasms, and then global fill with terrain type of bear grass just so we we're basically reset to back to where we were beforehand nothing's been changed here so now what we want to do is we want to go through it again we want to go up to edit we want to go to import we want to do as mask terrain mask as terrain or layer and in here we want to grab uh, river valley flow map uh, high contrast the one we just made in photoshop and so this you do it as annotations then one to one Everything else is 100%. This is why we did the 100% to begin with. So everything is very, very accurate. You don't have to worry about offsets, anything like that to make it consistent. This just works. So you do a layer as annotations then a one to one. This is going to look really, really weird. So you can see all your annotations in here. Now, if you look at this really closely, you can see that you have a white, you have a light gray, and then you have a cyan and then you have a black annotation. They're all the three different colors of it. And so what we can do here is we can grab our gravel. We can say mask. So we have our gravel right here, there it is. And we're gonna do this everywhere only on the uh, lay annotations, annotations white. So what this is gonna do, is just gonna fill all these white areas with gravel. And show you guys this, we're gonna do the second one here as coarse dirt. Uh, or just regular dirt, probably like perma dirt, and then we're gonna do this only on annotations light gray wherever light gray is. No, where is that? Did I move it? Uh, right there, light gray. So we can do that, and you guys will see here that we can go ahead and toggle off annotations. You can actually see these colors in here. Let's go ahead and export just this little section right here. So we can drop our character, our spawn point, right in that bit right there. You can go to export, um, River Valley, let's build, export selected tiles. And we're going to come right down into here, and we're just going to grab these nine tiles here really quickly. 
And this is going to export out to our Conquest Reforged. It's not going to have any Reforged blocks in it quite yet. You guys will see how this is going to be working. And we can pull up our Minecraft and bring that in. There we go. The height map's exported. And we have our Minecraft right here. And then we go to single player. We got the height map. Let's build. And you guys will be able to see in here that we actually are able to see just about everything where all these flow maps are working and all that good stuff when this gets loaded in finally yeah there we go so as you can see here guys it put our oh the permadirt is coarse dirt texture that's kind of cool but you can see these flow maps totally untextured yet but they just they did the flow maps perfectly for you you don't have to do it by hand you can use that program to do it very easily and all this stuff just works it works really really well so let's do a quick recap really quick of how to do this and then in the next episode we're going to go through and talk about the palettes and things that i used in the actual um in the actual map of what i use for these different things so with that guys we'll be right back and i will well actually first let's go hop over here into world machine so anyways a little recap of what we have going on here we have our edit pretty much to do this guys you go you hit edit you go to import you do mask as trainer layer and then you go into here and you find your height, whatever flow map, height map, whatever you want to be working with. But first, make sure you go into Photoshop so that you can get that high contrast thing. So you import it as annotations instead of as a direct layer. So with that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And please hit that like and subscribe button if you are new. Um, thank you for everybody for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. Let me just comments and everything mean a whole lot to me guys it really does uh keep me wanting to make all these tutorial videos for you guys so with that guys i will see you in the next episode